Welcome back to another episode of the Ohio Tech Report presented by Zendesk. We're going to get to today's three top stories, which is actually going to be four about a big biotech move from New York City uh, to here in Ohio. We're going to have a new tech focused training provider round of funding that's going out that businesses can take advantage of. We got some Rev1 news about committing some pretty big dollars to expand diversity and entrepreneurship. And then also another one of my favorite startups across the state and uh, what they're doing for kind of home ownership. Uh, but to start, we have a special guest co-host, Kevin. Welcome. Tell our watchers a little bit about yourself and what you're up to. Hi, folks. Uh, Kevin Bonacci here. Uh, I work for CrowdStrike, a global cybersecurity company. Uh, we're the leader in cloud-delivered endpoint protection and workload protection. Uh, native Clevelander and uh, currently reside in Columbus in New Albany. So uh, done my tour through most of the state of Ohio and uh, happy to be here today. Uh, in my in my work life, I uh, manage the global public affairs operation for CrowdStrike. So communicating uh, all, our, all our efforts uh, across the globe and to our many stakeholders uh, and a lot of the stuff you guys probably see in the news today when, when it comes to cybersecurity. Awesome. Well, Kevin, thanks for joining us. Before we go, we do want to thank Zendesk, who's our presenting sponsor. They were built upon a simple idea, make customer service software that's easy to use and accessible to everyone. Zendesk's customer service and engagement products are powerful and flexible and scaled to meet the needs of any business. They serve businesses across industries uh, with more than 145,000 paid customer accounts offering service and support in more than 30 languages. They're headquartered in San Francisco, but they operate worldwide. You can go to Zendesk.com to learn more about them. But Kevin, are you ready to dive in? Let's get into it. Cool. So our first story uh, is about, as I mentioned, a New York-based biotech firm that's moving their corporate headquarters to the University of Cincinnati's 1819 Innovation Hub. And this is the first out-of-state company to officially move from out-of-state to this innovation district. It's Orange Grove Bio, a preclinical drug investment and development firm. Uh, and they're going to be bringing in some pretty big jobs. They say upwards of 50 local high-paying jobs in the next 12 to 18 months. And Kevin, I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to go down to Cincinnati, but the innovation district there, what they've built is really, really incredible. You know, I first off, that's great news to hear about the jobs coming to Southwest Ohio. I have not been to the Innovation District, but um, have talked to a number of folks who've toured it. I know that uh, there's a lot of great stuff happening there. So really excited to see uh, companies leaving the East Coast, companies leaving the West Coast and coming home to the Buckeye State. Yeah, it's really cool. And so our second story we're going to be diving into uh, is this week, Lieutenant Governor John Husted announced the second round of funding for tech-focused training providers in the state. And this is part of the Individual Micro micro Credential Assistant Program. And this is training providers who receive the grants will be re reimbursed up to $3,000 for each completed tech-focused credential issued and up to $250,000 per provider. So this is a resource. We'll link to the story in the comments. But Kevin, this is kind of part of the state's uh, efforts and there's a ton around tech cred and other things to get Ohioans the skills that so many of our businesses like yours need. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, this is great. And I think you, I think you talk a lot about technology literacy in this space. Yeah. Um, so it's great to see an expansion of this program. Um, so Ohioans can get the training they need to advance their career um, in, in tech focused areas and companies. And, you know, from a cybersecurity perspective, there's anywhere from, you know, 375,000 to 450,000 unfilled jobs currently in the US. Yeah. And a lot of that's because people don't have the skills they need to, to get those jobs. And so there's a lot of great programs like this here in Ohio and like uh, that are happening in the federal government and all over the country that are you know going to help give folks what they need um, to increase our federal cybersecurity and technology workforce. Yeah. And, and you mentioned cyber, which is obviously your industry. Um, and that's just one example of every company we consider a tech company. And sure. cyber is one of those really, really big components. And so there's a ton going on in the state um, with companies like yours and a lot of education and institutions that are you know, making sure that Ohioans have the right skills that they need uh, in order to get good jobs and do the work that our businesses need to be globally competitive. So third story is about Rev1 Ventures here in Central Ohio, Columbus. They've committed nearly $3 million to, diver to expand diversity and entrepreneurship. Uh, this is part of their work, which is kind of will tap into proven startup services and inclusive entrepreneurship approach to address the challenges identified by women and entrepreneurs of color. And so certainly diversity, equity, inclusion, it's a big part of what we're doing at Ohio X, a lot of our work. And so we love 
kind of helping highlight and promote some of the work that's happening in different pockets. But Rev1 with the ability to write a big check like that um, is incredible news. And again, there's a lot of work to do in this space um, and kind of expanding diversity and entrepreneurship and startups and tech in general. Uh, but it's great to see what they're doing. And, you know, there's a ton of good groups doing it right here in central Ohio. Yeah, very much so. You know, the local leadership on this is on this issue um, is really important. And the other piece I, I saw in that article was that um, it's really encouraging to see the money kind of go the extra mile as it's paired up with these economic development administration funds and their built to scale program. So um, you're really kind of getting the one two punch um, and getting more more miles out of those dollars, which I, I think is incredible. Yeah, because there's and that's, you know, in the tech world, we both know there's a lot of working with government and getting funds and all, it, it can be really complicated and it can be tough to understand what's out there. But when you're able to utilize it, get some of those matching dollars uh, and kind of double the impact, it, it you know goes a long way. So we're actually going to add a bonus story, one of my favorite startups to talk about here in the States, Columbus-based Rove. And so they're you know doing stuff in the real estate investing space, kind of in the fintech, prompt tech. Uh, but this is a big idea, which allows anyone to download this Rove app uh, and for as little as $1 per share can invest into featured properties in places like Columbus and other states like Colorado, Illinois, South Carolina, South Carolina and Oklahoma. Um, and so you can invest in things like apartment buildings, favorite coffee shops. And it's, you know, really kind of crowdsourcing this investment space in kind of property and, 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 and uh, kind of rentals that otherwise historically took really, really, really big dollars and checks which obviously made it open to only a few people. So kind of a cool story. And I know, Kevin, you were checking them out earlier. Yeah. Um, you know, you talk about technology democratizing access to stuff and, you know, in 2021, I can't think of a better uh, example than Rove. And I, I did, I spent some time, um, I, I downloaded the app and was jumping on uh, before we hopped on here. And, uh, you know, the fact that you can sit at your, sit at your office or sit in your, sit on your couch and make an investment in a piece of real estate that you might drive by every day, or you think has growth potential is, is just fantastic. So uh, kudos to those guys. And uh, it's great. Yeah, to kudos. See Kudos to Calvin and John. They're doing some really great stuff at Rove. Um, and that's kind of wrapping it up. I want to thank again Zendesk. Kevin, thanks for joining and sharing what you're up to with uh, CrowdStrike, and, but doing it remotely from Ohio, which is really cool. Absolutely. This is a bit work from anywhere. Kind of work our, from anywhere is transformational. Yeah. Our, uh, you know, around the horn style. So you got points today and I'll, I'll beep you out. So uh, appreciate everyone for tuning in. Uh, feel free to like or comment if you you know have anything we should be talking about next time. But otherwise, have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys.